Jackass in one hand. Jackson? Dude. You know, that, that, those clips make me miss Kerry Colbert. They make me miss Keith Jackson even more. We've got KC on set right here. Jordan Moore, John Jackson, and Kerry Colbert, who's the tight end and inside receivers coach at USC. You know, when those clips were originally uh, aired, your receivers and tight ends were like four, six years old, somewhere in that range. Do they have any idea how good you are? Uh, No, I don't think so. <laughs> so Show them some clips at nah, least every we, now and then. It's all about them right now, so we just <laughs> kind of keep it at that. Man, I feel bad. You have the Keith Jackson call. I've been on the show how many years and haven't got the Keith Jackson no, call? Do you have a Keith Jackson call? Well, no, but that's besides <laughs> the point. <laughs> Gary, I got to ask you, just the transition. I mean, obviously, you're a great Trojan. You're a great pro. Uh, but now the transition to coaching, totally different animal. Of course, Kenichi Udeze has made that transition. Mm -hmm. How's it been for you? It's been it's been awesome. I've uh, been around a lot of great coaches and been learning every day from them. And, um, you know, I've been fortunate to, to play for a lot of great coaches. So I kind of I take what I've learned from them and, and, and what I learned from Coach, Coach Helton and T and, and the rest of the staff, and I kind of just try to pour it into the kids. Now, is it the part of it with coaching, is it frustrating – when the kids can't do what you what you wanted to do yeah. or what you are able to do, and they you know yeah, because not everybody's an NFL player on this roster, obviously. So yeah. you're trying to get them there, but how frustrating is that as a you know, coach? Because that's the part for me. Even when I was coaching Pop Warner, there was a big <laughs> hurdle to oh, get yeah, over. These kids sure. just can't do what I want them to do. For sure, I think <laughs> it is. It's frustrating at times, but you know uh, we got to find that patience and the balance in there. You know what I'm saying to kind of help them see uh, you know what we're seeing or what we have seen and. And, uh, you know, it comes with time, and, you know, we, we have a lot more reps and hours, and, and, and it, the game is a little bit slower for us, and uh, especially from a coaching perspective. You know, we sit and watch film all day and, and stuff, but sometimes there are times where I'm just like, man, you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> wish you can kind of show them or, or, you know, you wish they would see it a certain way, but it'll, it comes with time. You know, your list is the tight end and inside receivers coach. What, that's sort of a new role. What, what's the breakdown between you and T. Martin, who's the wide receivers coach and obviously also the offensive coordinator? Are you working with all the receivers? Are you working with them only when they're working out of the slot? Like, how, how does that work? Yeah, so, well, I have the tight ends uh, ex exclusively, right. you know, when we have meetings and stuff. But, uh, you know, when we're on the field, uh, we do routes on air. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of all together um, and, and – whether it's Coach Heldon or whether it's T or Coach Ellis or anybody, you know, wants to make a comment here or there, whether it's a tight end or receiver, we kind of all have a, a mutual respect for one another. And, you know, if we see something, we say something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but, but T has the receivers and, and I have the tight ends. And, um, you know, T, T's been doing a great job with the receivers here for a long time. Yeah. And, and really, you know, just trying to, trying to fo follow that mode and that pattern into the tight end room. And, Try to, you know, make some plays on Saturday. You know, my question is something I probably should ask Tyler when he's up here, but I'll ask you because it's about you. You're, you're, as a person, you're easygoing, cool, everything else. How are you as a coach in terms of persona? And is your persona that you are as a person socially different as a coach? Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of a – it's a little like how I was as a player. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, carried myself a certain way off the field and – on the field, man, you got you to be a dog, and, and you kind of got to have a little mentality about yourself and that competitive nature, and, and you got to go get it, you know. And, and I try to bring that to the, to the group, and, you know, I've been around a lot of great players and coaches that kind of have that same type of personality. And, um, you know, for me, um, you know, I just, I just try to, you know, give those guys some confidence, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and just let my passion kind of just uh, come out, and, and hopefully they – you know, kind of leads them in the right direction. Well, one of those dogs who came in is, is a freshman, Amon Ross St. Brown. He's off to the best four-game start for a, a true freshman since Kareem Kelly. Oh, okay. Kerry's old receiver. <laughs> uh, old buddy. Uh, you know, what, what have you seen from him, and, and, and why has he been able to make such an instant impact? Uh, you know, he's very polished as a receiver. Um, you know, very good route runner, uh, very good ball skills, uh, tough. He literally can do it all. And, uh, you know, so I think the sky's the limit for him. You know, he's, he, the, the, the lights are not too bright for him, you know what I'm saying? And, and he's, he's very smart, so he understands the offense, understands the concepts, and he goes in and he's able to, to make plays. You know, we've seen him move around a little bit, but he's played a, a, a primarily on the outside. How hard is it to learn the different positions, to be able to come in and play in the slot and also play on the outside? It, it seems like something that – sort of has developed over time. Robert Wood started doing it more 
as he got older, Marquise Lee, Nelson Aguilar, those guys didn't necessarily do it as freshmen. He's doing it a, a little bit. How hard is that to learn? Um, I think for a kid like uh, Amon Ra, you know, he's very smart. Um, so he can pick up the concepts and, and you know, obviously he has a great coach in, in T uh, who is able to, to help him learn conceptually, you know, the offense as a whole. And, um, you know, if you can learn conceptually and you can learn all the different spots, I mean, you're so much – uh, you're so valuable, you know, to the team. And, and uh, you know, you can kind of get moved around a little bit as opposed to being one-dimensional or kind of, you know, only knowing one spot. So, you know, he's a smart kid and he's able to, to pick it up. And sometimes it just takes some players longer and whether it's a year or two years and whatever it is, for him, it happens to be in his first year. You know, you guys <clears throat> recognize the continuity that, you know, Amin Ra has with JT for obvious reasons. They both played high school together and all that kind of stuff. Is it a point where right now, especially early, you want to take advantage of that because the continuity seems to be growing with the other receivers, but it's taking a little time? Yeah, I mean, and that's, that's to be expected, in my opinion. I mean, you know, every single year is a new season. Uh, regardless if, if, you know, I played with Carson for three years, I mean, you, you come in, it's a new year, you know what I mean? So you got you to gotta do it. You got to find a way to do it. Uh, these guys are all working through everything, and, and the more they play together, the better it will be. And, um, you know, obviously JT and Amon Ra have been around each other for a while. Um, you know, they play with one another. So, you know, obviously there's chemistry between the two. But, you know, as far as everybody else coming along, you have seen, you saw it this past weekend and, and with Pitt and, and, and Tyler and, and everybody, you know, the Bayless and Trayvon. I mean, the whole group, I mean, they've all made plays. And at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's really about just being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. And, the quarterback is, is, is good at, at his job, he'll find the right receiver. You know what I mean? It's, not a, right. it's nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, this team really has a group of pass catchers. You know, it, 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 I looked up that 2003 team, your senior year. Mike Williams, 95 catches. Mm -hmm. Kerry Colbert, 69 catches, 1,013 yards, nine touchdowns. Who do you think was third on the team in catches? Steve Smith. Steve had 17, wow. tied with Greg Gunther. Greg Gunther. So you drop all the way down <laughs> to 17. Yeah. I'm wondering, you know, is it is it more difficult to deal with the room? Do you really have to preach selflessness in in this case when that ball is being spread around and you guys substitute a lot more than than you did back then? Or mm -hmm. you know, what, what's the different dynamics when you're dealing with this? Was basically in sort of an NFL style where you had yeah. your your one, your two, and then you know a slot and a tight end that, that got a little extra. Yeah, I, I think uh, you hit it on the head, and um, you know they have a they have a close knit group and room where. Um, you know, they're all kind of happy for each other's success. Um, you know, you've been in those rooms, yeah. and, and, and I think that, you know, they do a great job of just supporting one another. And, um, you know, they all, they all do different things, you know, very well. So uh, Coach T does a great job of kind of uh, using them, you know, to their strengths. And, um, you know, it is a different game nowadays, you know, how it's being played from a sense of, uh, you know, no huddle and all. It's just a lot of different factors and stuff. And, like you were saying, compared to, you know, back back in the day, it was like you might have two guys that get the bulk of the catches yeah. and stuff, but now it's getting spread out and guys are playing a lot more in and out of the game. So it's just a different game. Yeah, different game, but still a lot of knowledge that Kerry Colbert has to give to these young receivers and tight ends. Thank you, KC, for joining us. Trojan fans get one free admission to the Ralph's Ultimate Tailgate Experience at select USC football home games this fall when you purchase $35 of participating items at Ralph's. Look for the signs and tags in store. Every $35 you spend gets you one admission. More Trojans live to come. We have a national champion next. It's Angie Analyst from USC Track and Field.